conversation between President Johnson and Abe Fortas on November 29, 1963 at 1.15 p.m. Hello. Mr. Fortis is on. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. Mr. Fortis. Yes. Thank you, sir. Robert's on the court. Uh, yes, sir. And uh, I've uh, been trying to handle this with the greatest tact. And uh, so the way we worked it out is that uh, Nick and the Solicitor General are going to call on the Chief Justice mm -hmm. instead of my doing it. Well, we need it right quick, though, because they're already announcing it in the House and Senate and all over the damn place. When you talk to the leader, it's just like talking into a big microphone. I know, and that's why I asked Nick to get over there right away. So all I right. To him this morning, and he's going to take the uh, General into it. Well, how many, how many men commission are we going to have? Well, if you had uh, uh, Dulles and a general, and uh, two from the House, two from the Senate, and the Chief Justice. Who do you think of as a general? The only one I can think of, and I don't know many of those fellas, is Norstad, who's always... Uh, if I had any idea who we wanted. So oh, I thought we'd probably have to take uh, the uh, 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 Eastland and the... Uh, uh, ranking minority member on the Judiciary Committee and similarly on the House, but maybe not. Isn't it, wouldn't this ordinarily be Judiciary Committee? Yeah, but Seller, God, I hate to. Seller and Eastland, I hate to have them on. <laughs> they can get stand. Wait a minute, huh? What would you think about John McCloy instead of General Norster? Well, I think that would be great. He's a wonderful man, a very dear friend of mine. I'm devoted to it. Well, let's think along that line. Now, can we do this by executive order? Yes, sir. Do we infringe upon the Congress anyway in doing it? No, sir. Reflect on them in any way? No, sir. I think on the contrary. I think, uh, you know, all these editorials saying it's to be a shame to have all these investigations. I think the country, I think if Congress has started acting wisely for a change. I think it would be a great thing, Mr. President, for them and for our country. Who would you think about in the Senate? I'd a whole lot of men I would have if I had to have somebody like that that's chairman. I think I'd a whole lot rather have Russell and Eastland. Oh, I would too. Yes, sir, for anything, or I'd rather have him most anybody for anything. That would be wonderful if that could be arranged. I didn't think about that because I thought it would be four or days. You know? I'd like to have Russell and Cupboard be my two. That would be marvelous. And, uh, Simply marvelous. On the house side, we could get Hill Boggs. He's uh, well, well, he's talking all the damn time. He's a good fella, but he's done announced it in the house. Yeah, that's what I mean. And I thought maybe this would help him get it through. Uh, Peter, what do you have to get through? Well, I mean, just their agreement that they'll do this in lieu of a Senate and House investigation. Mm. Well, he's agreed to that. Well, that's wonderful. And McCormick's agreed to it. Yes, sir. I would guess, what's that fellow that's uh, McCulloch? He's the ranking Republican. He's pretty good. Or Jerry Ford. I would think Jerry Ford would be good in the Republicans. Uh huh. Well, that would be fine. Uh, how about uh, this little old Carl Albert? Uh, what about him? I think he's the majority he, floor leader. I don't yeah, know whether well, he you know, he'd take it now. Uh-huh. And, uh... Yeah, I think that'd be pretty good. Uh-huh. I'd rather get away. It might be a slap at hail if he did that. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I wonder if we were Might stuck. be out of hail in McCullough. Yes, I wonder if we were stuck with hail. All right. All right, Mike, write those names down for me so I won't forget them. Uh, we'll okay. have the Chief Justice, John McCoy, and Alan Dulles. That's three. We'll try to get Jerry Ford as a Republican and Hale Boggs as a Democrat in the House. We'll try to get Russell and uh, Cooper. Yes. Uh, I don't know if Chief Justice may uh, want to do this, but uh, I'll, I'll call Nick immediately and see if he's got a report yet. 
They should have gone over there right away. I really gave them a hot foot this morning. Well, they, they already announced it. You call it back to see what the hell's happening. Who's announced it? Hale Boggs got down and told him. He said, I had to tell him what I was contemplating. Oh, so he got down on the floor of the house. Some jerk got up and said something. So he thought he had to show his knowledge. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I thought you meant he just announced that the House was going to investigate. Well, he's now, no, he announced there's going to be a high-level commission. I see. That's why I'm waiting. Well, but and I don't know. I guess we have to talk to these fellas before we announce they're going to point them, don't we? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. I got I'm not much. I think we ought to order them to do it, then let them belly. <laughs> All right. Hmm? I, I think that's Yeah, we'll have to get him. Yeah, okay. Thank you, sir. You call me now. Yes, sir. Thank you.